Hey guys, welcome to my another video and I'm so sorry because I've been missing for a long time. It's very busy with my work and I have started a full-time placement. Currently, I'm working for a real estate company and I'm working there as a social media manager. So I have a lot of responsibilities. That's why I couldn't give time. But there's the good news. My work is now fully remote. So I can make some time for my content as well. So I'm very happy about it. So we are not going to waste any time today. And I'm going to teach you how to write a perfect SOP. That means statement of purpose for University of Greenwich. So it's not going to be very tough. It's going to be very simple because I'm going to show you some easy tricks what you can do. And you can talk about yourself. It's going to be like a storytelling. And trust me, trust me, trust me they are gonna love your SOP. What does SOP mean? SOP means statement of purpose. And sometimes some university call it like personal statement. Basically, this is something that every university needs. So you have to make it ready. And one thing you need to remember that suppose you're applying for four to five universities, then you cannot have the same SOP. So you have to write different, different SOP according to the university you're applying. So basically you have to customize your SOP but we know that we won't be having time to write SOP for each and every university we're applying. So there's a trick. We are going to create a basic format of SOP. And the next step will be to customize it according to the university you're going to apply. So I'm going to show you each and every step how you can write a perfect SOP. We are not going to waste any more time and we are going to jump into the SOP writing section to get my laptop here anyway i really hope that this video is gonna help you if it helps you let me know in the comment section because making this video takes effort and time and your comment can make me happy so before i start i just want to tell you guys that it's gonna be your journey and it's gonna be your story so try to write your own reasons that why you want to study in university of greenwich and why you chose this course so it's better not to copy from anyone i'm just gonna tell you the basic points and it's gonna be step by step process try to follow each and every step and this is gonna help you first of all it has to be between 700 to 800 words it has to be formal it has to be error free by error free i mean that the grammar and the spelling should be correct so please revise after you complete writing your statement of purpose so first of all you're gonna start from this point it's gonna be your introduction so try to talk about the reason uh, the reason that made you interested in perceiving a career in this field and then comes your academic experience you can talk about what you majored in and where you graduated from if you're applying for masters you can talk about your undergraduation program and then comes the relevant professional experience don't worry if you don't have any professional experience you can talk about maybe your extracurriculum activities if you have any or if you don't have it then you can talk about your skills or maybe any certification courses that you have completed you can mention all of this in this section here you can talk about how this course is going to help you prepare for your career goals the most important thing is like you can talk about the modules this is how they're going to know that you have researched about the course well also talk about how much interested you are to study this course and then comes why university of greenwich so here you can talk about the teachers the location library facilities transport facilities when you talk about the transport you can mention about the nearest dealer and available buses you can also talk about the career growth maybe talk about your friends or family who have recommended this university to you then comes why uk so you can compare with usa or australia that how uk is different from usa and australian education you can talk about uk's affordability you can talk about that how affordable this degree can be for you and also you can talk about the course duration because you see when you try to complete a degree in america or australia or canada it might take longer but uk they have this uh, flexible option that you can even complete a master's in a very short time 
so you can talk about this this can be a very interesting point and then you can talk about your goals so you need to tell the university that how this program will help you achieve your goals by goals i mean that you can talk about your career goals there's a trick you can mention about career in your home country you can tell them how this course can help you achieve the dream career you want and talk about the approximate salary that you might get after completing this degree to summarize, you can talk about how this opportunity can help you become successful in future. Anyway guys, I hope I could help you. And in my next video, I'm gonna talk about like um, how I got my internship and gonna share you my internship experience with you all. So speak soon. Bye bye.